Well, guys, it's another week under the stay at home order, which means many of us are still binge watching everything that we can find on streaming services. Alfred Richard is joining us now with his picks on the best from at home entertainment in the big screen home edition and Mother's Day edition. You've got on your special pink suit to honor mothers. That's right. This is an honor. I wear this in honor of all the moms out there. And unfortunately, I'm also honoring the mothers in my family who have passed on people like Eunice, Virginia, and my grandmother, Bertie Mae Brown, who made it to 107 and a half wow. past last year. But Absolutely again, beautiful. to all the moms out there, I know this is uh, very trying times, but have a happy Mother's Day with your family and those close to you. That's very sweet, Alfred. All right, let's get to your reviews for the week. What do we got? All right, first up, Andrew Lloyd Webber is back at andrewlloydwebber.com with a new show that's called The Show Must Go On by Jeeves. And it is available by going to Andrew Lloyd Webber, all one word, dot com. It's going to be airing tonight. And so you'll have the opportunity to see a brand, a show that many people haven't seen from Andrew Lloyd Webber. We know we're Phantom of the Opera and Starlight Express and Sunset Boulevard. This is a nice one that you'll have a chance to see again tonight. Uh, you also have the New Orleans Film Society. Now, they have started a new streaming service. That's cool. This will allow people to watch films that were shown at the 2019 Film Festival. It's called From NOLA With Love. And you can support local New Orleans filmmakers with it and part of people in the gig economy. It costs about $35 for access to all of the films all the way until June, 6, June 1st or $10 for a feature film. But again, it does help New Orleans filmmakers. So tune to NOLA dot for with, from NOLA with love and you can go to New Orleans Film Society dot org. That's really and, cool. And, yeah, yes, and now we're going over to the Prime, and we have here from Amazon Prime a couple of picks. One of my favorites, a classic, The Amazon Queen, starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn, two classics in Hollywood. Really good. It's about a, it's about a trip on the on the rivers in Africa. It's really good, Sheba. You'd probably enjoy it, especially seeing Katherine Hepburn in her best and The Lighthouse starring Willem Dafoe and Robert Patterson, a very strange, quirky film about two lighthouse keepers who are basically confined. So in a way, what we're going with right now with COVID-19 is fitting for this. So again, this the Disney is the lighthouse. You also have Disney Plus. Okay, what do we now, got Disney there? Plus, they have a, a couple of good choices. First of all, there is Brave. This is a Disney Pixar film perfect for little girls, but also for the family it's set in Scotland and Ireland. So I have an affinity for it as it will. Also, you have Saving Mr. Banks, which stars Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson, as it's a film about the making of Mary Poppins. So you have a little coverage of everything, a little bit of Disney and just about everything else. Nice. And even, and even Coco, a very colorful Disney Pixar Combination that came out a couple of years ago. Very good, but again, Disney Plus is part of many, many great things on Disney Plus, including, I say, The Mandalorian. I have to get it in for my Star Wars fans and Star Wars friends out there. All right, what else we got in Netflix? On the Netflix, we have a couple here. We have Jamie Foxx and Leonardo DiCaprio in Quentin Tarantino's The Django Unchained. Uh, Again, a strong film. This is basically for the adults, so keep the kids away from this one here. But some very great performances, even Samuel L. Jackson. It, it is rated R. It was rated R in the theater and still remains here. The Willoughby's, which is a nice animated film that was supposed to air in the theaters, but is now available on Netflix. Quirky imaging, some, something from the people who made Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And the Stranger. You know, I love these classic films. This one, Orson Welles stars as a man who has a shady past and is up to Edward G. Robinson Jr. to try to find out about his past. The Stranger, very good on Netflix. And if you're looking for something on the Hulu, well, we have that one too. And that is FX on Hulu. A lot of films and TV series are there. One, a new one that's out, just Getting give us one fast, because we're almost out of time, Alfred. That's Mrs. America, starring Kate Blanchett, 
really good film. And again, happy Mother's Day. And I had to get this in very quickly. My brother and my sister, my late sister Charlene. And there's little me as a king many years ago. Oh, it's still a king today. Thank you, Alfred. We appreciate you.